Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your Better Together devotion for today. And we've been talking this week about raising disciples, raising children to be people who are people of faith, to be a part of the body of Christ. And as a part of that, I've got to say one of the most important things that we can ever encourage children to do is ask. Ask questions. So many times our faith tends to be a faith where we are dispensing answers rather than encourage seekers, encourage knockers, and encourage askers. People who seek knowledge and wisdom, people who are looking for God and knocking on the door, folks who are striving to ask questions that we might not even have answers for. And that's another lesson that can be learned by asking. It's important to invite our children to ask questions that no one else will ask, that no one else will not even know the answer to. And so one of the more popular questions I get as a pastor, it, it, when I gather with children and we're talking about maybe the Genesis story, and, and we talk about Adam and Eve and, and the beginnings in the garden, and I remember one little boy, he, he suddenly came to and, and he asked me a question. He said, wait a minute, you mean they weren't even wearing underwear? You know, those are the kind of questions that I love hearing from kids. And then he asked, okay, I get where Adam and Eve came from, but where did God come from? And I have to go, I don't know. And it's okay not to know. And especially as a pastor or as a parent or as somebody who's the mentor to a child, it's extremely important to show them that you're okay with being uncertain, that you're okay with not having all the answers, that you're okay with being a part of a faith that doesn't hold this, this list of big, long answers and doctrine that'll, that'll make sense of the whole world, but instead be a faith that grows within you and grows with you on the journey. Our kids, as we raise them, need to have the security of knowing that God loves them unconditionally. God has claimed us as God's children from the get-go, from the cross. He forgives us. Those are, are the truths. Some of the other stuff that we tend to bicker and fume about and even question, well, that has more to do with us than it does do with God. It has more to do with us growing in our understanding and growing in our uncertainty that we need to doubt so that we can have faith. Our kids know this. Kids are inherently curious. Kids are born filled with questions. And we, as a people of faith, need to encourage them to approach God, not as, as people who are, are going to go, come and, and constantly be filled with answers and security, but instead a people of faith who move forward, who are constantly asking questions and are constantly comforted by the presence of God with them on their journey. You know, we're better when we're together. And the mystery, a part of that, is that we get to ask questions of each other, learn about God from one another, and truly become the kingdom of God on earth that, that is bigger and wider and more diverse than we ever could possibly imagine. Going back to that Genesis story, we're created in the image of God, and I haven't quite figured out how you draw that, how you put that in film, how, how you try to put it to pen and paper in a story. God's so much bigger than that. And isn't it any wonder that the image of God here on earth would be diverse and big and beyond our comprehension too? We should ask questions to get to know that big God, and to grow together. Encourage children to ask questions, especially if you don't know the answer. Amen.